Hey, what's up guys? I am coming to you from the outdoors today because, I don't know, I just wanted to do something different. I'm gonna tell you eight tips to improve your picking speed. I put a lot of time and effort into considering many different factors to give you the best advice possible. I'm gonna be using some snippets from other YouTube videos across my channel, which you can find across my channel, and some sneak peeks from my Modern Rock Guitar Techniques course, which you can find linked in the description. Tip number one to improve your picking speed. <sighs> Breathe. You must breathe while you are executing fast runs across the guitar neck. I know it might sound kind of silly to say, oh, breathe, duh, I breathe, but I challenge you to play something as fast as you can right now for as long as you can. And tell me if you tend to hold your breath. Chances are you do. This is kind of a natural reaction, at least for me, that when I am trying to do something that's taking all of my skill and all of my concentration, I'm holding my breath and just like, by holding your breath, you actually impede blood flow back to your heart, which in turn makes your muscles not function very well. So, as a result, your fingers will not do what you want them to do, and your picking speed will hit a ceiling. I talked about this a little bit in a video I made about when you get nervous to play in front of people. This is definitely a very important tip. Pay attention to your breathing when you're playing fast. You know in those movies when somebody's having an anxiety attack and their friend or relative gives them a paper bag to breathe into? This is a real thing and it comes from over breathing. And over breathing is what happens when you get on stage in front of people because you're excited. Tip number two, pick gauge. I use a Dunlop 0.88 millimeter pick and you can use something of that thickness or thicker. The point is don't use anything thinner than that. Think about this, if you're writing an essay with a pencil, I know, weird situation. Do you want that pencil to be hard or soft? Here's a tip from my Modern Rock Guitar Technique course on why I prefer a harder pick. You wouldn't want to use, say, a rubber pencil instead of a normal pencil because it would kind of cave in under the pressure. So with alternate picking, it's a really aggressive technique and as such, we need a pick that can support what we're doing. Tip number three, string gauge. I prefer using 10 gauge strings. You can also use nine gauge strings if you wanna make it a little easier on yourself. And this has nothing to do with like taking a shortcut or anything. Look, if you wanna play fast, there's certain tools you want. And this is the part where you say, dude, Stevie Ray Vaughan used 13s, he played fast. Well, I'm talking about really, really fast, like shredding. That's kind of the point of this video, hitting that really high BPM. You can't perform as well on heavier string gauges as you can on lighter string gauges. That is just a fact, and there's nothing wrong with that. John Petrucci uses 10 gauge strings. Tip number four, using the appropriate picking pattern for whatever lick or style you're playing in. This means mastering different styles of picking, different approaches such as hybrid picking, alternate picking, economy picking, and such. With a full arsenal of picking approaches, you will be able to best assume how to play a given lick. And here are a couple examples from my Modern Rock Guitar Techniques course on different variations. Tip number five is a bit of an expansion from the previous tip. It's using three note per string patterns. These patterns are what I teach in all my guitar courses and all my YouTube videos. It is the most simple way to execute given scale runs and things like that where you're going from one string to the next. The less you have to think about, the better you can concentrate on your technique. So by not having to think about anything on the left hand side of things other than synchronizing your fingers, you're setting yourself up for success by minimizing possible speed bumps. Tip six, use a metronome. I know that sounds dreadful. I use drum loops actually to uh, have a little bit more musicality to my practice sessions, but the point is as though I'm keeping track of exact tempos and being able to measure my progress. This is all about maintenance and improvement. If you can play something on a certain BPM, you want to be able to improve to a quicker BPM or a different feel. You won't be able to do that 
consistently or the most optimally without having a rhythmic device such as a metronome or drum loop software. <laughs> Tip number seven is kind of a philosophical thing that sometimes even I break the rule on. Tip is to play on clean, a clean tone. But sometimes I like to use a little bit of distortion too, just to be able to control that effect as well as the clean tone. Basically the sentiment behind this tip is to not hide behind any reverb or delay or some type of effect that will manipulate your sound to make you sound better than you actually are performing an exercise or a lick. Don't cheat yourself, you're only hurting yourself. Hey puppy. The final tip is to believe. Yep, that's right. Believe in yourself. Believe while you're playing. Believe that you can reach that next echelon of picking speed. I know it seems daunting if you've never really tried to improve your picking speed, but I guarantee you, if you set out like 15 or 20 minutes a day and just practice picking exercises, I guarantee you will see a dramatic improvement in a very short amount of time. You'll play something on one BPM. You'll be flying high in no time. It's all up to you, of course. I can't do it for you, but I promise you, you can do it. You can reach any goal you want to achieve. Like my friend Chris Zupa says, the power was inside you all along. You just had to find it. I hope you enjoyed this little video on eight tips how to improve your picking speed. Hope it was helpful for you. Make sure to leave a comment if you have any tips on how to improve picking speed. I'd love to hear from you guys. Until next time, keep shredding.